New York Mayor Eric Adams has been indicted by the federal government of charges including taking foreign donations as well as of corruption. Well, foreign donations sounds eerie, doesn't it? Who? Which country? China or some Middle East country? What is it? These things will become clear when the charges are read out. It's going to happen either today or tomorrow. So you know what is going on. So this is what he's being charged of. There's going to be a trial. In the meantime, I would expect him to step down or the governor, Kathy Hochul, might, you know, uh, remove him from the post, have somebody else run the city while this trial goes on. This is what is going to happen. But is this the main reason why Eric Adams has been charged now? Are you telling me that others are not corrupt? What about the top guy, the big man, Joe Biden? We've been telling about how many places that he has taken bribe. Bulgaria, Ukraine, China, Hunter Biden, all those tapes. So what is going on? Bribery isn't a reason that they would just like that get rid of a very uh, you know, well-known face. So what happened? Why is the Democratic Party destroying from inside? Why is the Democratic Party imploding? These are the questions that we are going to try and ask today. And we are going to give you a clue on what could be happening. But first, I would like you all to watch this video of what Eric Adams is saying. And perhaps this is one of the strongest clues that you can get. So we'll touch upon that in uh, a moment after we watch this video. And before we watch the video, a small request to all of you to please like this video. Thank you. Full support. And let me tell you something, New Yorkers. Never in my life have I had a problem that I did not see an ending to. I don't see an ending to this. I don't see an ending to this. This issue will destroy New York City. Destroy New York City. We're getting 10,000 migrants a month. One time we were just getting Venezuela. Now we're getting Ecuador. Now we're getting Russia speaking coming through Mexico. Now we're getting uh, Western Africa. Now we're getting people from all over the globe have made their minds up that they're going to come through the southern part of the border and come into New York City. And everyone is saying it's New York City's problem. Every community in this city is going to be impacted. We had a $12 billion deficit that we're going to have to cut. Every service in this city is going to be impacted. All of us. And so I say to you, as I turn it over to you, this is some, some of the most educated, some of the most knowledgeable, probably more of my commissioners and deputy commissioners and chiefs live in this community. So as you... I will give you a link to the video and you can watch the complete thing at your leisure. But you get the idea. Eric Adams just could not deal with the number of illegal immigrants that were bust into New York City. In fact, sometimes uh, they try to make a point by putting them in front of even the vice president's house, these illegals. So they know the pain of, you know, relocating these people. But New York City really went over the limit. Initially, when the illegals were coming in, they were housing them in Manhattan, in posh five-star hotels, all at the city's cost. But city doesn't have money. So who was giving the money? The federal government. Now, at some point, the federal government said, we cannot print these notes fast enough. So you have to find a way to lower the cost and get them out of these five-star hotels into other places. What are these other places? Well, turns out they tried putting them in schools, but then schools have a primary duty, that is to educate children. They can't be housing illegals. They can't tell them to get out of the, during the morning and come back in the evening. So a lot of stuff happened. Words were exchanged. But at the end of the day, Eric Adams just started questioning this whole illegal immigrant influx. And we know that this is being done by, for lack of a better word, Soros company, perhaps. And uh, you can also say deep state because deep state doesn't mean anyone, but a set of Western interests who want a certain outcome. We can think of it that way. So is there now a rift inside the Democratic Party? Does the Democratic Party still hope to win New York State 
with so many things going wrong. I suspect that even AOC might lose this time. She's also a congresswoman from New York City. Eric Adams looks like he's being thrown under the bus. And I don't know what his fault is. Of course, corruption is serious, especially if the foreign donations were given to lead to a certain outcome. That is also bad. So all these things are now beginning to churn inside. And the Democratic Party is floundering. That's how it looks like to me. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you guys can tell me via comments whether this is something that will automatically stabilize itself. But I don't see how. This is not a problem limited to New York State. You saw what happened in Springfield, Ohio. Ohio is that, you know, the sp split state. It's almost 50% Republican and 50% Democrat. And there, these 20,000 Haitians are making a mess. So that is another problem. So all these little, little things, they're all adding up to one big thing that the Democrats have bitten more than they can chew. And this is the root cause for all these problems. So economy and illegal immigration. These are the two things on which this presidential election is being fought upon. And I have a feeling that many Democrats who, while being polled, may say they are going to vote Democrat, but they may change their mind at the voting booth. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click on the bell button for notifications. Namaskar.